Honorable Member for Shuangandu. Master Bright, Madam Speaker, and good morning to your Honor, the Vice President. Your Honor, the Vice President, my question is uh, a rider on the question my dear colleague from, Honor, uh, from Skongo posed last week, that of national unity. Your Honor, this country has been a united republic since 1964. Last week, there was a letter which widely circulated, uh, purported to have been written by a group called Linyongandambo of Western Province to the President. Following that, we had public pronouncements from eminent citizens, one of them being a former minister uh, in government, calling for um, the President to act on the issue regarding to the Balosran Agreement. May we know, and through you and the nation, would like to know what your government position, because this group is claiming that there could have been some arrangement and commitment from your government to deal with that particular matter in a certain way. May we know what your government position is on this uh, issue. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Her Honor the Vice President. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And I would like to thank the Honorable Member for the question and good morning. Um, yeah, the issue that there was a letter that was circulating, uh, I, believe, I believe it's social media, where it was circulating. <laughs> social media is full of things. Uh, but as to which promises were made, I, I don't think I would stand and give an answer to that. I know that uh, people have made promises, including our late president, Sata. He made a promise to deal with it. We are also studying this. We are a new government. We want to study. But one thing that we are today, we are a united country. We are one Zambia, one nation. That is what we are as a country today. Nothing has changed. And uh, if anything will change, I've said it is under study. Thank you. 